Hello and welcome to Gold Buzzer. Okay, I am into gold and silver. If you are watching this video, you certainly are into gold and silver as well. Or at least you are a little bit interested by the gold and silver market. But who else is into gold and silver? Well, central banks are very much into gold bullion and silver bullion. And actually, the interest that central banks are showing toward gold bullion is playing a big part in the increase of the gold price. And this is sending a very strong signal to investors on where the economy is going and where the gold price is going. I mean, we've got India, we've got China, um, Qatar and Russia diversifying their reserve by accumulating more and more gold bullion. Central banks are currently holding around 29,600 tons of gold which is approximately 18% of all gold ever mined. Back in the 60s, before central banks uh, start selling their gold, they had around 38,000 tons of gold in their monetary reserve. But this year, for the first time since 1988, they are increasing their gold holding by 429 metric tons. So basically what we've got here is a diversification of assets. Central banks are moving away from dollar-denominated assets toward safer investment vehicles like gold. For example, Qatar. One of the main uh, source of revenue is the sale of uh, oil and natural gas. Obviously, they are selling natural resources and they are getting paid in dollars. But instead of keeping uh, those US dollars, they are buying gold with those US dollars. So they are selling natural gas they are getting paid in US dollars and they use those US dollar bills to buy gold. And it has been reported that on a monthly basis, Qatar has been buying at least one ton of gold. I mean, one ton of gold for a small country like Qatar is very, very impressive. So I may ask, what about you? I mean, people in Qatar, I mean, the government in Qatar they are smart enough to know that every month they need to accumulate a little bit more of gold okay so what about you what do you do what do you think about it please comment please let me know what do you do anyway another example uh, is um, India actually India might be the biggest example <laughs> the biggest uh, PR for gold bullion right now Last October, the Reserve Bank of India made the biggest, the largest central bank purchase of gold for the last 30 years. They bought 200 tons of gold from the IMF. This is massive. This is very, very impressive. This is very, very bullish for gold. And at the same time, we've got uh, Russia. Do not think that the Russian would not take part in that gold bull market. I've got few Russian friends here and they like to party. And uh, in this gold bull market, the party just got started. So you can be sure that uh, you will see Russia play a big part as well. Okay, they did not make a big purchase like India, but still, what is very impressive, what is uh, very, really important to notice about Russia and uh, 
and the Russian government attitude toward gold is the fact that they are buying their own gold. These guys, they are not exporting. They are big buyers. So the Central Bank of Russia is buying 30 tons of gold from the state. Okay. And uh, that will bring their gold stock to 5% of the gold reserve. And as I said before, this is a worldwide event. This is a worldwide phenomenon. We've got other countries, other small countries like Mauritius, who had a two tons of gold uh, last November. And we've got Sri Lanka, who bought 10 tons of gold. And we also have Kazakhstan, Venezuela, and uh, the Philippines uh, doing the same thing. And you can add to this list many, many Middle Eastern nations. And of course, we've got China. At the moment, China is the sixth largest gold holder. Okay. And uh, they are planning to increase their gold holding by six fold, which will bring their gold holding to 6,000 tons in the next three to five years. So, yes, I know we have had some up and down in the gold price recently, but now that you know what Russia, India, and China are doing and what they are planning to do for the next five years, let me ask you, what will be your attitude toward gold? What will be your strategy regarding precious metals for the next five years? Are you planning on buying some or will you remain with fiat currencies? Please rate this video and be kind enough to share your views. Thank you.